Hello, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. You found me because you're looking for some relief from your tight lower back. So let's do some Pilates. We're going to reintroduce mobility to your lower spine. We're going to strengthen and stretch the necessary muscle. Your lower back will feel reborn. Now what we need for the class is a towel. So let's grab the towel and meet me on the mat. So let's put the towel aside for now. We're going to stand. We're going to stand tall with the legs slightly apart in parallel position. And I'm going to just turn to the side for now. But I want you to just bend the knees right here and place your hands onto your thigh. And so the weight of your feet is equally forward and equally backward. So 50% in front of the feet and 50% in the back of the feet. Now lengthen the spine here. We're going to exhale for the cat stretch. We're gonna to exhale to round the back. Inhale, we're going to lengthen and arch the upper back. Exhale, so we are introducing mobility to the spine. Inhale, exhale with this cat stretch standing exercise. In breath and exhale and in breath. Let's do two more times. Exhale. And in breath. Last one. Exhale. And in breath. Now let's go ahead and exhale and round the back here. There. Drop the arms. Roll the spine down towards the floor. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, roll the spine up, curling the pelvis under and then start stacking up the rest of the spine upward to standing position, then straighten the leg at the end. Bend the knees, curl the head down again. We roll through the spine. We go all the way to the floor, inhale. Exhale, the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to curl the pelvis under and we're going to roll the pelvis upward, lower back, middle back, upper back and straighten the legs at and last one. Exhale, we roll down, bend the knees and get your pelvis forward, take yourself closer to the floor in breath. Exhale, curl the pelvis under, rolling up again. And we'll lift, standing nice and tall. All right, now we're going to go down on our knee for kneeling hip flexor stretch. So we have one foot forward, so bring the leg closer to me in front of you. Now have the back foot tuck under. I want you to curl the pelvis under. So I don't want you to hang in the lower spine, but I want you to just stay vertical from the knee to your shoulder. Now, tuck the bottom under. So we are recruiting the lower abdominal here. And I want you to just, if you want, or if you want to create more stretch, if you need more stretch, we're going to move the pelvis with you and not the lower spine. So move the pelvis forward and keep the back knee down on the floor, and then just reshuffle the front foot so the knee and the heel in vertical alignment. So go as far as you feel like, yep, that's my, that's my max here. So I'm getting a good stretch here on my right hip. And then I'm gonna hold on to that stretch. I'm gonna continue to draw my lower abdominal up and stay tall. We're going to take the same arm up to the sky and just stay there in breath. Exhale, maybe you can go a little bit forward, not sink to the floor, but forward and up. In breath, exhale, and keep pressing the back toes down. In breath, stay there. Exhale, one more. In breath, exhale, go a little bit deeper. Last one, push forward, push forward, push forward. Let it go. All right, switch leg. The other side, and I'm gonna turn myself so you can see me. So we're gonna tuck the back toes under, vertical alignment, hip, hip, knee, hip, and shoulder. Then, taking my pelvis underneath me. So tuck the bottom under. Then I'm going to bring my pelvis forward with me. 
I'm gonna find where is my maximum and I'm gonna readjust my front leg so the knee and the heel is in one alignment. And then I found it. Have you found yours? Yeah? And now let's take the arm up. And we in breath, find length. Exhale. Again, in breath. Exhale, go a little bit forward. Remember, we do not want to sing in the lower spine. We're going to keep lifting up the abdominal. We're going to bring the pelvis forward. And inhale. Exhale. One more. Almost there. Inhale. Exhale. And release. Okay, let that go. All right, let's grab our towel. I've got hair stuck on my mouth. Now, let's grab a towel. I want you to unravel my towel and go to the length way and just fold the towel in the length the longer part okay now go ahead and lie on your back turn to your side and rest it back on the floor all right grab the towel i want you to straighten the leg closer to me on the floor and then bring the other leg up to the ceiling place the towel all right on the foot we're going to do some hamstring stretch, supine hamstring stretch. Supine meaning lying on your back here. So we're going to try to get the pelvis to, pelvis to settle down to the ground right here. Now, I want you to think about kicking the heel up to the ceiling as you straighten the leg. And we fall through the hip and we fall through the knee. And then we kick the heel to the ceiling and straighten up. Look, you may not fully straighten the legs like I do. Just go to your maximum. In breath. Exhale. Straighten. And in breath. Maybe you are here. And that's your maximum. And that is absolutely fine. In breath. Again. Try to keep the pelvis grounded to the floor and then find how far can you take the leg up to the sky. Find that angle in breath. And again, exhale, straighten in breath. Release, last one and straighten and we hold that. Now hold that position, just breathe in. Exhale, can we either straighten the legs a little bit more if you have your legs still bent or if your legs are already straight, pull the leg closer towards you a little deeper. So choose one, inhale, reach long. Exhale, straighten the legs a little bit more or pull the leg closer to you. And last one, in breath. Exhale, pull or straighten. Excellent. Now grab the towel with the opposite hand. Take the same side arm down to the floor. Sickle the foot. So curl the foot inward and then bring the leg across the body. So we're going to stretch the outer side of your leg muscle here. Again, you don't have to be as closest to like what I'm doing here. Maybe your legs will be about there and that will be a good stretch for you. So just Find a range that is good for you. And we're going to bring the leg closer towards the floor in opposite direction. And try to keep that pelvis heavy to the floor. You can use that free arm to push that hip down or anchor the hip down for you. So give you the opposition traction. And just stay there in breath. Exhale. Maybe you can go deeper with the gravity. Again, in breath. Exhale. One more. In breath, exhale, and we release back, bend the knee, release that foot off the towel, bring the other leg in, straighten the first leg. We got the second round. So let's hook that foot. Okay, starting with the bent knee. And exhale, straighten up. In breath, we fold. Exhale, straighten, straighten to your max. Inhale, we fall through the hip and through the knee. Exhale, 
in breath and exhale and last one here exhale straighten and we hold that so we inhale lengthening exhale you either continue to straighten the leg until the knees are almost to full extension or you bring the leg closer towards you and hold that new range in breath exhale again straighten the knees or bring the leg closer towards you again in breath exhale one more time in breath exhale straighten the knee to maximum or bring the leg closer towards you all right and release well done hold on to the towel with the opposite arm and then that free arm can either be on the floor or it can guard the hip the pelvis and anchor it down we're going to invert the foot which is sickling curling inward and we're going to bring the leg across to the opposite side All right we in breath stretching the outer layer of the leg muscle exhale in breath so we stretch the <clears throat> excuse me the upper thigh and maybe you feel in the perineus on the lower leg and in breath and exhale last one and brilliant and let it go all right bend the knee and take the foot off your towel and put the towel to the side for now we will need it in a bit now i want you to have your feet as wide as your mat and have your arms up to the T position for our hip roll drop the legs towards me and turn your head to the opposite direction and then center drop your leg over to the other side and head under to the opposite direction and center in breath exhales inhale keep the movement nice and easy exhale in breath exhale inhale exhale last set in breath exhale last one and exhale okay now let's come up for a moment and grab your towel here so i like to have your towel for a little assistant here so that your lower back can have a little bit more support so i want you to fold the towel like so right and maybe for another one another layer i'm not sure so you could actually have the towel rather thin or you could have the towel thicker it depends on it depends on the curvature of the lower spine and how much tightness you have or how much curve you have in the lower spine so i'll let you be the judge for yourself so i want you to place a towel there in fact i think it's going to be a little bit too thick for me um, I don't necessarily use a towel, but I'm going to use it for an example in any case. So let's go ahead and go back to our floor. Place the towel. You know, this towel is going to be a bit too wide for me. So let's just assume I have a really, really big curvature in the lower spine and I'm going to really need the towel there. All right, so I should really use a tea towel here um, instead of a bath towel. Okay, so have the towel resting somewhere in your underneath your lower spine here. So the aim here is I want you to feel the contact of your towel of your back to the floor and the towel is going to raise the floor a little bit for you. Okay, now again, this is probably a little thick for me. I probably ditch it in a bit, but I just wanted to show you what's going to happen here. Now here we're going to go into our pelvic curl. So have your feet parallel with with parallel hip width apart. All right, tongue twister there. We breathe out. We're going to use abdominal. I want you to imprint the lower back down to the floor. So this is where the towel comes in handy. So you don't have to travel as far as you normally do without the towel, but the towel is already there. You can really work on stretching it, right? And then from there, continue to roll the spine up to the bridging position in breath 
Exhale, roll the spine down, printing every single vertebra back to the towel or the mat. And then release. The aim here is to really open, continue, open each space you have in between the vertebra. And reach out and exhale, roll down, press every single vertebra down to the floor and open the bottom one. And keep opening, keep lengthening, keep lengthening and release. And again, exhale, curl up all the way to the bridge. And you know what? I'm going to ditch the towel because I don't think I need it. But exhale, I just want to give you the example what you can do. All right, to help you open the lower spine. And let's do two more. Exhale, curling, rolling, pressing up. Keep the towel day if you need it. Exhale, roll down. You really need to touch the floor. Touch the floor, touch the floor. Especially that sticky part in the lower spine. And release one more time. Exhale, curling up. In breath. Exhale, curling down. Brilliant. And okay, now I want you to rest that belly into the back and so the lower back touch your towel or the mat. Interlace your hands behind your head. So your lower spine is in an imprinted position here. All right, elbows can come off here. We're going to do a chest lift. We breathe out to lift the back, upper back of the floor. Your lower back should be resting on the mat or the towel. Inhale, grab the thigh, lift a little higher, sink a little deeper, arms back, come on down. Exhale, arms, inhale, lift, sink a little bit more, and back, and down. Exhale, sink the belly, sink the back, arms, and come up. Hold a new height, arms back, come on down. Two more times. Exhale, arms, inhale, arms back, and down. Last one, exhale, arms, lift, and hold that new height. I want you to stretch your hands next to each other and rotate the body to me. Again, the lower back should be resting on the mat. So that's how we're going to start to open and lengthen the lower back. And center, exhale, and center, exhale, and center, exhale. Exhale, from the waistline we rotate. Last set, last one, come back, hands on the thigh, up a little tiny bit more, hands behind your head, come on down, excellent. Stretch your arms up to the side, if you still have the towel, keep it underneath you. Float one leg up to tabletop, and Absent, second leg up for our spine twist supine over to me as we inhale, get the legs together and exhale, come back to the center, rotate from the waistline in breath, exhale, remember you only fold the towel that enough to support your lower spine, not too thick and center and in breath, exhale, center. Rotate from the spine, keep the legs together as we twist. We come back and twist in breath. We come back and last one each side. We come back and the very last one to the other side. And we come back, all right. And we lower one foot and the second foot and have your feet a little bit further away, but keep your legs bent. We're going to do our roll up here. So the knees are slightly bent. Again, keep the towel underneath the lower spine. It will help you and assist you to come up. Here we go. We arms overhead, 
Inhale, we lift the spine, look forward. I want you to really sink that lower back on the floor. It needs to touch the floor, it needs to touch your towel, and then curl up. Use your abdominal muscle, go into that C curve here. Then we go back down. Guess what? Yes, it needs to touch the towel or the mat. And then arms overhead. Inhale, arms chest lift sink that lower back onto the floor and then you peel off and into that c curve and exhale we roll down if you need a little bit more help grab the back of your thighs to come up and go down inhale do what you need to do yep 40 exercise and exhale roll down Really need to touch the towel and print the lower back down and over. Last one, up and over is your in-breath. Exhale, lifting, 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 lifting. And then roll back just 20%. Bring the feet closer towards your pelvis for rolling like a ball. Now, this is going to be a little bit tricky if you have a flat lower spine. If you don't, if you're unable to curl the spine, but we're going to work towards it. Again, you can have the towel behind you like you have now. If that feels uncomfortable for you, you can let it go. You okay? All right. So rolling like a ball. Take the feet off. Guard your legs with your arm muscle. They need to work a lot. And then float the feet, balance on your tailbone. Now here, you maintain that curvature in the spine, the C curve, and then you're going to roll back, roll forward. Now, if your back is flat, you will not be able to come up. So when you roll back, I'm thinking going forward, I'm coming that way. I'm not gonna go and hang back on my head. I'm gonna go, I wanna go back to my bottom. So that forward thinking of, I wanna go back to my bottom, will bring you forward. And of course, you need to really round that back. So this is where the towel is gonna to help you. And exhale, in breath, and exhale. Two more. Obviously, I don't have a towel underneath me because I can curve my back, but you may need the towel today. Let's go one more time, and back, and, and voila, well done. All right, now, straighten the legs, you can move the towel to the side and put it on the side for now for the spine stretch. All right, have the legs slightly bent here, lifting the spine tall and arms up forward here. Breathe in, your focus is spinal articulation. So we're going to roll down, feeling every single vertebra is rolling forward and away in front of you, especially that lower spine. And then imagine there is a wall behind you. Can we, as we roll up, imprint the sacrum into the wall, imprint the lower spine into the wall, the middle spine, the upper spine, and then the head. And again, down, you peel the spine away from the imaginary wall. All right, and then hold an in breath. You roll the spine back into the wall. I really want you to high fire your back in with the wall. Another imaginary you can use is like peeling off the banana skin from the banana flesh. So you're gonna peel the spine off from the wall or peel the skin like you're peeling the spine away from the banana flesh. And then the banana fruit, we roll down, we peel the skin away from the fruit. And then you, as you roll up, you press, you imprint the skin back into the banana fruit. And use whatever imagery that works for you today. And roll down and forward. And then roll back and up. Last one. And roll down and forward. And roll back and up. All right, and let it go. All right, cross the legs onto the front. All right, quadruped, modified quadruped, align the shoulders and the hands, but the pelvis will go somewhere between the knee and the heel. 
All right, power through the front of the chest, nice and long in the spine. And tuck the toes under. Exhale, we're gonna round the back like we did at the start of the class. But this is a really, really good one for you to feel that lower spine opening. So think about tucking your bottom under. Imagine you have a tail. I'm gonna pull my tail from underneath me and pull it forward so I can really curl the spine. And then lengthen through the spine and then hold the lower spine. Continue with the upper back. Arch. And curl the lower spine, pull it underneath you. Woo. And then lengthen through the spine and arch your upper back. And exhale, round. And an inhale, upper back. Two more, exhale, round. And an inhale. Last one, exhale, curling, curling, lifting the abdominal to the spine and lengthen and upper back and release all right now go into your quadruped position meaning <coughs> your shoulder and your hands will be aligned and your knee and your hips will be aligned we're going to do our thread and needle stretches so you are in a strong position i'm just going to turn myself to the camera so you see what's happening here yeah? so i've got this position going i'm going to take my left my right arm up to the side and then I'm going to loop my right arm through underneath my armpit. I'm going to continue the journey in rotating my spine and stretch my arm on the floor. And maybe I'm going to get my shoulder down. Yeah, I can get my shoulder down. And then maybe you can get your shoulder down. But I want that pelvis to still be above my knee. I don't want my pelvis to be shifting out towards my right, my left side. So I'm going to hold that stretch in breath, actively reaching my arm so it's not a dead arm on the floor exhale one more exhale and then push off recover the other side I've got my other arm out your left arm bring it underneath loop it through and reach it across again make sure the pelvis doesn't drift away to the side as well keep it right above the knee and perhaps you can touch the floor not touch the floor, perhaps you can rest down to the floor, but continue actively reaching the arm away. In breath, and exhale, and release and come up. All right, and then release and come up to kneeling position, and you can turn yourself facing me. All right, now arms out to the side. Extend your left leg out to the side. Side bend over to your right. Then, now I want you to think about this hip. Push the pelvis and the hip forward and then bring the top arm over your head. So I've got a firm grounding anchoring of my top foot down to the floor. I'm pressing my pelvis forward. I'm reaching my spine long. And then we're going to do some windmill arms. So we're going to drop it down, up, and down, up. And then three more, and then two more. And a last one, reverse. And we go down, up, and a two, and three, and four. Last one, five, and hold. We come up. And take the bottom arm up to the sky. You're still working on this bottom pelvis, bottom pelvis, on the bottom hip here, the supporting hip. Reach up and take your body over to the other side. And so my hamstrings are still working on my, working really hard here on my right side. And release. Other side, you've got the other leg extending out. All right, make sure that you don't stick your pelvis out. I want you to curl the pelvis under a little bit more. So your hamstring, your left hamstrings and your bottoms are working. Arms out to the side, side bend down to the floor. Top arm up to the sky and windmill arm down and across one, down across two, down across three, down and four, down and last the other way. Five, four, three, two, last one. Hold, we come up, bottom arm comes up. Side bend over to your right, find length, and keep working the support right here. Push it forward, lift it up. 
and release. All right, we need to get our towel again. So we're going to do some back extension exercises and this will help you to support your lower spine. You can fold what you had before. Maybe you can fold a little thicker. Maybe this is too thick for you. I mean, this is gonna be too thick for me, but I'm just giving you an example where you can place a towel here to support your lower spine is so that your lower spine can lengthen away instead of crushing in or jamming into each other, right? So we're gonna place a towel underneath your sacrum. And then you're gonna place your pelvis on top of the towel, like that. You got that. All right, now what we're going to do here, we're going to come up. You don't have to come up so high. Have the elbow slightly wider than the shoulder. I'm gonna come forward a little bit more. I think I'm off the mat. Okay, so fold the towel to your um, required support for your spine. And then elbow slightly wider than the shoulder. Now here, instead of sort of sinking, I want you to push off, but the towel help you that extra lift to have the lower back be supported here so we're not jamming into the lower spine, right? Okay, right now, lengthening through the neck here. I want you to float both legs up, right? So again, this is long. It's not crossing down like a hammock. Reach long. Right legs for single leg kick. Left, right, left, right, and stay reaching long, and, and, now we're gonna exhale, exhale, and, and exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale. Yes, I just changed the breathing. And an inhale, and inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Two more sets. And an inhale. Last set. And an in breath. And in breath, straighten both legs long and lower the chest down. Okay, so you feel that towel is supporting your lower spine and it giving this lower spine a chance to lengthen away. Now stack one hand on top of the other, wide shoulder and just allow the head to float off. So your upper back here is working. Keep sending the sitting bone down to your feet, lift both legs off the floor without jamming on the lower spine. And now we're just gonna paddle the leg. We inhale. Moving from the hip joint for swimming. Exhale, modified swimming because we're only moving our legs here. In breath, exhale. So this exercise, I want you to really focus on lengthening the lower spine and not allowing the lower spine to take too much of the load here. So your abdominal muscle has to work. Your back, not your back, your hip extensors, your hamstrings and your glutes needs to work too. So we inhale, just paddle. Exhale, so you're giving a chance for your hip flexors to lengthen out. In breath, exhale, two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, reach long and release. Well done. Bring your hands to the side of your shoulders and push away. Sit back, rest position. Stay there for a moment, inhale. Exhale, one more. And exhale, roll up. All right, let's put the towel to the side and let's finish the class with some amazing relaxation and stretch. So let's go lie on your side and lie on your back. We're almost there, hang on there, stay with me. All right, we fold one leg to you, we fold the other leg to you, and we just allow the leg to be heavy into your back. Close your eyes for a moment. Can we, as you inhale, allow the lower spine to Lengthen and sort of sink to the floor. Exhale, create deeper contraction, compression. Compression, guys, compression. Compression in the hip joint. Inhale, breathe in length through the lower spine on the floor. Exhale, release. And then softening through the hip. Again, in breath. Exhale, 
so your lower back ideally should be resting down onto the floor and the tailbone shouldn't be cutting too much just try to find the tailbone a little bit lower to the ground and now here i want you to lower let go of one leg and bring it down to the floor but keep that imprinted lower spine onto the floor maybe your leg will be slightly bent like so that's fine all right now i want you to just get the leg as long as possible without lifting the lower spine you still have the other thigh compressing to your chest and again you can close your eyes here allow the spine to grow along on the floor melting down as you breathe in and then you breathe out and an inhale and then breathe out two more inhale one more now we bring that leg up again compress lower the other leg down you stretch the leg away without lifting the lower spine so wherever you can take the leg to the floor inhale if it's slightly bent or still a lot bent that's fine exhale just allow the gravity to take the weight of that leg to the floor in breath using the aid of your breath to soften through the joint in the body to give you a little bit more of that energy through the spine and to lengthen out exhale one more all right now here release that knee slightly to the sky and then just turn the leg over to the other side and turn the hand opposite direction for a little spine twist stretch here do what feels comfortable for you inhale make sure the shoulders are still down anchoring to the floor exhale one more and then we'll pull the knee to your chest as you roll back to the middle bring the other leg up release the other one down stretch it down on the floor and then we bring the leg into the opposite turn your body into opposite direction the shoulders are still anchor and in breath exhale allow the gravity to take a little bit more weight off the spine feeling opening through the chest feeling lengthening through the spine the key here is to just let it go and in breath last one and then bring that knee close to your chest roll to your back and bring the other leg up and just roll your back left and right left and right left and right and then find stillness and you are done for the day so wow well done well done to you for completing and staying put with me today so go away with that newborn lower spine and don't forget to come back to the mat with me again tomorrow to do some more work all right have a fantastic day Congratulations on completing the class. Well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.